didn't get it in like I thought I did. Steel plates in place though. There we go. That should do the trick. Creep up and make sure. Yes. So we need to do that three more times if we want the quote scroll. The problem with that is it would involve killing robots ourselves. So. I'll do a save and I'll show you how to do it, and then I'll reload and not do it. But I'm going to do that at the very end, just to make sure I sneak through the mission with all the AIs standing. So, drop the stage one piece in there. Feel out the chute on the side. Drop in another steel plate. Hit the button on the side. And get the stage two piece. This is a great spot for a real save. Now we just need to get out of here. Next we're gonna head to Bay D and then Bay E last. So to get to Bay D. We just need to head back up the west side again. Alright, we're gonna need to wait for this. Every mere man conceived a gear. <laughs> Twas the builder. He speaks it first in our waiting ears. Then God's pen when tis time to read. Twas not Karis that conceived this plan. Twas the builder spoke it first to his ear and guides him now during final hours. So obviously we're in a high traffic area. And How could mere man conceive the gear? <laughs> Twas the builder. He speaks it first in our waiting ears. Then God's a pen when it is time to read. Twas not Karis that conceived this plan. Twas the builder spoke it first to his ear and guides him now during final hours. See if we have time now. We don't really have any good hiding place stopovers. Well, maybe we do. Oh yeah, here we go. That would made things quicker. Had I noticed it, that's okay. Remember, we need to creep here to avoid first alerting that big baddie. Now to get into Bay D, we're going to have to wrestle with darkness again here. There's a ladder over in the corner of this room. We'll have to get up to the top of it.
That was a loud landing, but we're okay. And we find ourselves up above the fluid vapor interchange. Now we have to do this carefully. We have to be far enough back not to alert him visually. But we need to not drop to the side of the ramp like I just did. Now you can silently drop through this hole in the ceiling. That was great timing, I have to say. Creep down into this tunnel. You have to deal with darkness again, so I like to back away from that light until I hit a dark spot. Then I turn, slide to the right. And then attach to the ladder, hopefully. And you'll emerge in Bay D. Apparently the Zero Ambient Light Genius built Soul Forge. Okay. <clears throat> so this here is the ceiling machine. You need to put your bantam node into the left bin. You need to make sure it goes all the way down. If it drops flat like that, you're good. And then the mine bulb we made earlier goes in the right bin. There are three blind robots in here. Here's some reading material. Instructions. Place source materials into chutes, one material per chute on side of friend machine. Signal thy friend standing on the control platform against the wall of this bay to activate the machine for thee. Products will emerge at other end. There's a big robot facing into this room. We just need to be careful and hug the machine. Yes, this is the ceiling machine. Good. I've never heard any comments from him as long as I'm careful to hug the machine and the walls. This is the linking machine. Instructions. Place source materials into chute on side of machine. Signal by friends standing on the control platform against the wall of this bay. To activate the machine for the products will emerge from two. Oh, that was bad. Yes, this is the leaking machine. If the blind robots bump right in me like that, they'll go full alert. I can't imagine why you would, but if you do need it, over against this wall is storage room three. There's more construction materials in there, but as you can see, there are more big robots guarding it. So let's get onto this ladder, without, hopefully without incident this time. And then here on top of the machine, we need to drop in our gauge. Need to do a better job of it than that. I probably need to get all the way on top of the machine. Oh, 
that will not do. I hate ladders. Ladders are one of Garrett's most potent nemeses in this game. Drop in the Bantam, no the other Bantam node, and the Gauge. Can't have that. back over to this corner and use a vine arrow to get up to that platform. <coughs> Again, I was hoping for a silent landing. Instead, I got no landing. Go ahead and retrieve that arrow. Grab this red key. We'll replace it later, but for now, just keep it with us. Head over into the dark to the right, and you'll find another door. And that door leads, amazingly enough, to the control platform. We'll lower that elevator. Here's the button for the linking machine. There's our regulating round. So here's the control for the ceiling machine. That, the mine bulb with the bantam node. But, uh... One of them, one of them heard our explosive charge land, so I'm gonna wait till they're in here and then hit the button again. There, I didn't hear any alerts that time. So let's go retrieve all our goodies. It's quite easy to drop down here as long as there are no <coughs> controllers around. The Garrett does have to execute the drop. <coughs> Sometimes he just doesn't want to do it. I guess we could just ride the elevator down, but... Alright, so... Grab our regulating round. Grab my explosive charge. Hug the machine. So I get back here. And now we need to place the regulating round 
and the stage two piece into this machine. Go hit the button again. Karis is saying something else, but I can't hear him in this bay for some reason. So we can use a vine arrow to get back up to the control platform. We can retrieve it with a jump and turn. Now, again, I want to make sure nobody alerts when the piece drops out. So I'm just going to wait till they're in this room. I didn't hear any alerts. Which is good. Go grab our stage three piece just as soon as the coast is clear again. There we have it. Now we can use a vine arrow to get up to the control platform, same as we did before. Now we can call the elevator back up. Get that red key back out. We want to lock block this door. Return the key to where we found it. And close it up. I'll go past, uh, past the door to the control platform and... Continue on down this hallway. Should be a ramp down in the dark. And we are now overlooking Bay E. And there were there were two major keys to this room for me. The first was remembering that the little robots are blind. And the second was remembering that watchers are deaf. That means that if you time it right, you can just sprint straight through everything to get to the machine, and you can do so undetected. Ah! Oh, but you can't get too close to that machine. I didn't realize that. I think that may be when I hurt myself in my practice run. So if you're here, you're safe. You then just have to watch out for the other watcher. Well, both of them actually, but you don't have to worry about the robots because they're blind.
and we arrive at the machine. We got a couple things to do here. First, put your put our acidic mixture and our spring wiring into this side. Put the lever, and the machine spits out a flux spheroid. Drop the flux spheroid and one of our steel plates into the left side. That's the fourth secret. Helps us manufacture a flash bomb. Finally, drop the stage three piece in the left side. Hit the switch. And we have our guiding... Our guiding beacon has been made. The objective is complete. And I saw someone walk into this room, but I didn't hear any alerts. I think they were still out of range. So, with our guiding beacon in hand, we can open this, we can close it as we go through it, and it's time to make for the northern apse. We've got all our secrets. Got our guiding beacon. Time to move on to the second half of this mission. I wonder if I actually need to creep here, if I can just hug the wall and be good. Uh, looks like all that's required is wall hugging. Good to know. Would have been good to know earlier, but better late than never. So we need to move back through fluid vapor interchange. Without alerting anyone, of course. <sighs> Shouldn't be that hard because this edge we're walking on is the, uh, it's the slip mat texture from Precious Cargo. Or non-slip mat, rather. As quiet as carpet. Oh, we gotta cross this tile expanse, so I'm gonna start by hoping no one's around. Looks like they aren't. Astounding. So get to this elevator, head up. It's from the folly of Constantine that I learned that. Yes, I know all about that past dealings. Why else should I concern myself with the likes of thee? I would have had thee under my control as dead. Indeed. I'd have had both. So, we have arrived here. There's signal slot A, there's signal slot B, so install your guiding beacon. And there's another objective. Now we have to hit the signal towers. And you see our map of the upper areas is pretty rough and pretty undetailed, but... The first signal tower is right up here, it's very easy to get to. Stop this ladder. And hit the switch. If Karis has any way to detect what I'm doing, I'll know soon. Six to go. Karis didn't pipe up about the sabotage. There's a spider beast, or spider mech, whatever you want to call it. Let's just creep on the tile to get up to the northern areas, or upper areas. 
Wait till you see that robot head off to the right. And that is an excellent time to follow it. Gotta get to this door right here and try to pick it open while he's gone. But you want to wait long enough not to first alert him. Of course. This door does open inward, which is good news. I don't think we're going to make it in time. If we had gone just a little faster, we would have been good. We can probably start a little sooner if we do left more instead. There's another option, of course. I can do most of my lock picking, then wait for another cycle. We got plenty more darkness to deal with, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. One last zero ambient light mission. Get in here, close the door behind us. I wonder if turning on lights is a bust the way turning off lights is. I don't think so. Well, it probably is. Let's not bust Supreme, let's leave the lights off. So what we need to do here, there's a ramp heading down in this room, which I just managed to find. So you kind of want to feel your way to the bottom of it. There are two things to do down here. We'll hit the uh, inventing workshop first. Just wait until your coast is relatively clear. And drop off the ramp to the right. Head over to this elevator and head down. This is the Exploratory Inventing Workshop, Novices Disallowed from Entry. So, ah yes, I forgot about this. We are going to have to take a Supreme Bust. As you can see, we will have to turn these lights off if we are to have any hope of getting by that Watcher. So, head up the ramp to the left. Head into here, and turn off the lights. Supreme bust, but it's needed, because we can't even ghost the turret room, so we have to get to this tower. And we've already busted our ghost anyway, with the watcher at the very start. Of course, now it's dark. That creates its own problems, but should be able to creep forward. Don't even have to creep, really. Once you get past the Watcher, though, you do want to start creeping through this pitch black room. You can sort of, you can make out a patch of light straight ahead. That's where you want to go. You can see that blinking red light I'm getting closer to as well. 
there are uh, big patches of metal on the floor in here that we don't want to hit if we can help it. Once you see that you've gotten to the edge, I want to creep over to the left. Should be able to hear a mechanist. What I thought. We should be able to silently dismount here. Creep right by the turret. Just, just past it here, there's a ladder. And then there's another ladder in here. Blessed light. And once we're in here, there's an elevator in the corner, which will take us up to the second signal tower. That's two out of seven. Head back down the ladder. Drop off to the left towards that water. Should be able to do so noiselessly. Still don't know if there's metal out here, where it is, if there is any. But the water, thankfully, is something we can still see. Into the water. alerts. Now we swim. Now we're back to lid areas. Which is good. So the watcher will first alert when you come out that door. That's also unavoidable because you're coming out of the light. But on our way out, I'll turn the lights back on. And we'll be on our way. We'll head back up this elevator. The third tower is not too bad, it just requires good timing on these patrollers. So you want to follow their clockwise pattern. Creep across the metal. 
You can do it pretty fast without incident. You want to get over to this corner, which is a safe spot to save, and call the elevator down. Yep, I heard no alerts. Good, good, good. Ride the elevator up. <clears throat> As always, take care not to get pinched on the edges. And hit the switch. Three down, four to go. go much faster on your way out because you can take the conveyors, which is nice. Well, I heard the big one first alert, and I also realized that I need to send the elevator back up before I take off running anyway. Send it back up. Let's actually scout things out. The robots have better vision than the people, so I'm going to try to get in behind the robot. I heard no first alerts. I think we're good. I think we're good. So to get up here, you want to head to the right. And then straight. That's how to navigate that darkness. All right, we're out, good.
And we need to get to that one, but... We can't take the elevator without at least a first alert, and it's pretty hard to ghost it. So I'm gonna try a different tactic. floor. Goodness. That time I meant to hit quick save, but... And you know, I'm gonna make a second real save here. Just... just as a backup, in case of catastrophe. Alright, let's cross that metal. hoping to find a good way to go upstairs from here. Oh, and there's a ladder. Good. That's what I needed. Let's get up this ladder. Double quick. And of course, I need to try to silently dismount. Which is gonna be tough. Better luck mantling over here. Oh, my ladders. very top of this room, which I think is, we can be quiet in. I knew there was a passage out. to the other side. Somewhere out here is another passage out to that larger room. Again, dealing with darkness. So, back up. Head left. When I sit in judgment, the builder before me, and he asked, Karis, what hast thou built? I will answer. I know thou art not a believer, Garrett, yet thou art well aware that half of all thou seest is through mechanistic machinery, thy metal eye. 
I gave the all to thee in the hopes that thou wouldst be an ally, but t'was not to be. You have eluded me in the past, Garrett, but no one, not even thee, will escape this night. Somewhere along the way. straight from here. There's turret production. I don't want that, but I'm making progress, which is good. Oh, fine. Just gonna have to cheat and crack. Twas the bindi that smote them, the precursors. He gave them the power to bring about his paradise. Okay, that's what I was looking for. I knew it was there. Thanks. All right, what again. hast thou built, Garrett? So, when the time comes to review thy so life right with the master builder for thee, and the question is asked, what hast thou built? What will thee say, poor Garrett? For thou art a man of destruction, not construction. Tis the biggest sin of all. Build thyself today a good house. That would please him much. Okay. This is what I've been looking for this whole time be able to get to the rafters above this room from here. In so doing, circumvent the robot down on ground level. Now we just have to be careful of the watcher. Especially on this beam. You can sort of see the way they set it up. And I failed. The beam isn't dark enough to avoid first alerts, unfortunately. So there's another supreme bust. The big robot can't hear you up here, so you don't need to worry about him. Just head all the... Just need to get all the way to the end of this beam. Good grief. Even sprinting. Not fast enough to stay ahead of the watcher. Of course, trying to keep an eye on the Watcher, the turn killed me. There's another first alert, which I doubt you can avoid. So mantle onto this platform. See, so you can't have a big landing like that. My idea is to run off mantle up, but Garrett doesn't seem to want to do that. 
There we go. Silent landing. I'll creep over to this door. That wasn't so bad. Nothing left is really bad at all, to be honest. This takes a little... little work. So head up here and hit the switch. That's four out of seven. Save with that done. More first alerts. I don't think we can avoid. Because even the dark patches aren't dark enough to stop the alert. From here, there's no need to use a rope arrow, you can just jump in. <laughs> well, you usually can. I'll just do the exact opposite of the way I came up here in the first place. Back up, then head left. Then head straight. And we're back here. So I'll head through this little passage. And we've arrived at what people call the computer room. That's, you know, because it's what it looks like. We need to get down quietly. that was going to happen. What we're going to do instead is drop in behind him. After I correctly find the sweet spot. Follow this guy, we need to hit this switch. Follow this guy up the middle. Soon all will be lost with the breath and the beam. The lacrosse new talks that I created. And all the souls 
the rich that spurned me. The city watch that betrayed me. The loathsome pagans, the mindless commoners, even the loyal followers of Paris. All, all will receive the blessing and the cleansing. But will they lift up their arms and praise Karis as the vapors make them pure? Nay, they will wail and scream, most ungrateful! So you have to hit both those levers to open gates in here. It's very important not to wander off to either side because there are live turrets. So just call the elevator, get enough to the side that it won't pinch you, and ride it up. 